Hi Griffin, I was wondering if you could do a carving inspired by Where the Wild Things Are. Clementine really loves that book. We read it every night. <laughs> His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Thank you, Becca and Clementine, for the challenge. I also love Where the Wild Things Are, so this was a really fun one. In May, I was a guest at the Butler Chainsaw Carving Invitational in Butler, Pennsylvania. It was a lot of work, and it's just great seeing my carver friends. You know, we talk about carving, and we carve side by side and see what the other person is doing, and we learn from each other, and we just work harder around each other. Carve when the sun comes up, and carve until the sun goes down. It's a lot of fun. For this event, I decided to carve my favorite scene from the book, when Max is swinging through the trees with his wild thing friends. I used a five inch deep slab of white pine. I wanted it to be deep so I'd have room for the trees and the bodies and all of the layers in the forest. I also wanted to cut away some empty places, so I needed the wood to be as thick and as strong as possible. The event was three days, open to the public, and people came from all over to watch the carvers. After talking to my friends last night at the fire, they convinced me that if um, I make an entire bed with where the wild things are, it'll have a better chance of selling at the auction or selling for hire. And luckily I already prepared a footboard template just in case I had time. I don't feel like I do, but I should have tried anyway. Um, I'm waiting for my slab right now and as soon as it gets here I'm going to start cutting out the baseboard. It's going to be uh, two trees with the ocean in the middle and his boat waiting for him. I found out recently that Maurice Sendak was planning on writing Where the Wild Horses Are, except he couldn't draw horses. I'm really happy that it worked out the way it did. It's hard to imagine the book without the wild things. The bed sold at auction to a family with two adorable daughters, and instead of just the one bed, they decided to share it and make two separate headboards. It was a happy ending. <laughs>